So normally you would be using a thinner thread because it holds on pretty tight, but you have to be careful about tightening too much because it'll pop off the end like it did here. And for the purpose of this video, because it's hard to see this small thread, we're going to use a thicker thread. And if you're working with little kids or people that might have dexterity problems because of arthritis or something like that, then a thicker thread or a yarn uh, might be better to use. And it's a simple matter of just tying it on. And you can use a double knot here so it doesn't fall off if you're using the thicker stuff. And get another one fairly tight, pretty close to it. You can make the knot ahead of time to make it a little easier to get that on there. Get a little loop and lasso that pepper. And this one that we make will just have three little peppers, but of course it can get a little bigger if you want to. You choose. Oops, it's not the kind of knot I wanted. Just slips in there. These are really fun very fast, as you can see, ornaments to make, and you tie around a couple of times. Then you make another knot, and then you have all of this extra You're not going to need that much. You can snip it off about where you want it. And just tie these two ends together. And if you wanted, you could also use wire. The problem with wire is that it doesn't do well with the fresh peppers, but if you're using dry peppers, that would be even better. So that's how it's going to hang. You get your fun little critter, your little ornament, which this one's already on a wire. Let me just attach it this way. These are found at any, any little craft store. And then you have a choice. You can either use these little rafty things or... Raffia is raffia. a... Raffia. It's Sorry. a African grass. Okay. Or your corn husks. And these have been soaking. So with this one, it hasn't been soaking and it's, it would be very difficult to tie. And this one has been soaking a little bit, just a few minutes, and it's already a lot more flexible. And you can use the soaked husks even if you're doing dried chilies, right? Mm hmm Yeah. And then it's just a matter of you can either make a little bow or, in this case, we're going to make another one of the traditional um, corn husk bows, which is just by tying these on here. Very simple. And then you even up the ends a bit if you want to. It's so cute. Can you say you're not artistic? Fish <laughs> posh. Look at that. Very simple. And if you wanted, you could put this as a um, something on a present, or you can hang it on your tree, or attach it to the end of a wreath. There you have it.